Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we start with your reading, Sagittarius, I want to wish you guys all a happy Hallow's Eve. I hope you guys are staying safe. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this remaining of the month of October 2020 in regards to your love and romance. Now, your first card here is the Three of Cups. We have the World card. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Four of Wands. All right. Major changes, Sagittarius. Okay. So what we have here is the Three of Cups. This is celebratory type of energy. For some of you guys, it could be an outing. It could be something that is very unexpected with the world card. Uh, it could represent a blessing coming to you. For those of you guys that are single, you may be dealing with a uh, fire type of energy. It could be a Leo. It could be a Sagittarius like yourself or an Aries. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo type of energy. That's what's coming in or what's unfolding. With the Three of Cups and the world card, it could represent you guys going to a wedding, to some type of celebration. Um, for those of you guys that are single, uh, going to some type of, some type of, um, social gathering. Like I said, it could be a celebration. It could be a graduation. It could be a marriage, uh, going to a wedding. Sorry. Um, and what they're saying here is that this is an unexpected turn of event, uh, where this person steps in. So this is directly for those of you guys that are single. What they're saying is that, uh, you may actually meet a person by chance, by destiny, uh, and it can come this uh, connection or this endeavor of meeting each other uh, could unfold through unexpected, like I said, unplanned situation. So it could be that you get invited to some type of celebration, some type of gathering, that type of energy. And this person out of nowhere bumps into you or you meet them, you guys lock eyes, that type of energy is what they're saying. Now, you have the nine of swords. For others of you, it could be that you've already met this person. It could be that um, there was some type of communication, some type of connection through social medias, uh, anything like that. Um, and there is, there's almost this feeling of, being a bit intimidated by them. It could be that they're extremely successful. It could be that they are at the top of their game in regards to their career, in regards to their profession. And it's almost a feeling of being a bit intimidated, feeling, feeling like you are lacking self-esteem with the Nine of Swords being too much in your head. Uh, but there's definitely a desire here to bring this into into a relationship and I do see it unfolding but what they're saying here is that there's a need for you to commit to some type of some type of like taking a different perspective in regards to how you approach this person so what I'm saying is if you've already met this person and there is something that either intimidates you or you feel like maybe you're not as secure, you're not as stable as you think this person is looking for in a partner, what they're telling you is you need to commit yourself to yourself. Meaning you need to believe in yourself. You need to know your worthiness. You need to accept your worthiness. Sometimes in life, you can meet a person that is at the top of their game, and it doesn't mean that they're looking for the same in a partner. You may not be where you think you want to go or where you think you should be, but it doesn't mean that you won't get there. So what they're telling you is you need to believe more in yourself, Sagittarius. You need to stop self-doubting yourself too much. You need to be okay with the blessings and opportunities that the universe is bringing to you. This kind of brings to me the idea of 
almost feeling like the universe is bringing to you blessings. It's bringing to you a new love interest. It's bringing to you a person that wants to get to know you. But then we start to question, this is too good to be true. Oh, I don't think they would be interested in me. Or I don't think that they're being for real. That type of energy. And what Spirit is saying is you need to believe in yourself. You deserve a good partner, Sagittarius. You deserve a partner that is or that has self-actualized. You deserve a partner that is motivated, that is focused. It cannot always be you. Do you have a tendency of going after people that are broken? Do you have a tendency of having the need to be the mother in a relationship? Whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. Is it usually you the one that has the need to fight the world? To make things happen in relationships? It's time for you to embrace this opportunity of connecting with the person that has goals and aspirations. Don't be intimidated by it. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, for some of you guys, it could have been that you recently celebrated, you know, uh, an anniversary. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you recently got married. And what they're saying here with the nine of swords, there is almost like a, a questioning a questioning of this relationship or of this partnership. Am I worthy enough? Do I deserve this? Keep in mind Scorpio being in Ketu or Ketu being in Scorpio. It's all to do with psychology. It's all to do with our subconscious connecting with the things that we hold very dear and we protect because we don't want to deal with it because it could be hurtful. So this is speaking about our true hidden desires or our true hidden realities that we see in ourselves. And it's spirit is trying to tell you, you need to come to understanding that you deserve happiness or that you deserve st stability or that you deserve someone to take care of you for once. And Rahu is going to give you that blessing, but you need to work through the feeling of lack or the feeling of not being enough. The nine of swords could indicate a lot of mental strife, but this has more to do with what you've exposed yourself to, what you've gone through in the past. Are you a negative Nancy? Don't be cynical when it comes to love. For some of you guys, it's realizing that maybe you don't want commitment. It's realizing that you fantasized about it so long that now with Pluto return, it's transformation. It's being able to see things from a very different perspective, things that you've never really thought about. For some of you guys, it could be you ran away from commitment on a few, on a few, <laughs> few partners. And now you're coming to the realization that you want that commitment. You want that marriage. You want that home life. And it's okay. That's part of growing, right? It's part of experience. It's part of life. So what they're telling you here, Sagittarius, is believe in yourself. Go after the opportunities that are being given to you. Do not let these blessings pass you by. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. I hope that you guys uh, enjoy this Hallow's Eve, and uh, we'll see each other soon. Bye.